right, so part two, we're going to use texturing XYZ scans and their, their uh, multi-channel scan data to create the displacement as well as the skin we need for our character. So when you buy the texture pack, it comes with the scan that's like displacement. Each channel has a different uh, displacement. So you got like the upper tertiary and secondary on the red, blue, and green channels. I'll explain that later. And the color, of course. There's also utility, but and you can use that too. Um, so let's uh, set this up so we can wrap it around using the Z-Wrap plugin I talked about. So create, first, create a plane. Let's uh, increase the amounts. About 100 is good. Now let's scale it so that way the ratios are correct. So click on your face and properties. Details. So 8081. 50, 89. So let's copy those values. Let's do 80.81 and Z, uh, 50.89. Okay, not that value. This one. Let's hide this grid. All right, let's uh, get the right rotation. There we go. All right, let's check out the UVs. Okay, perfect, just a square like that. All right, now we're ready to export this mesh. Let's see, you call it UV plane. All right, open up ZBrush, import your mesh. Just the face is fine. You can uh, go up a couple subdivisions. Here, I'll um, start from the beginning. Divide, it looks nice. All right, now let's um, append, import. Uh, we don't need that. Oh, not either. All right, now where is that plane? There it is. Oh, I guess uh, ZBrush 2020 is different. All right, let's... Which one are we in? This one. Pend plane. Let's delete that extra thing we don't need. Where is our plane? Let's turn on double. That will make it easier to find. There we go. All right, let's turn it off. Make sure we know which side. Uh, let's rotate it correctly. Um, is that right? No, that is wrong. Let's rotate it along the Y. All right, negative 90. All right, there we go. Let's use the transpose tool, move it up. Still centered, so that's good. Scale it down a little bit. And I'm still used to the old transpose tools. So you just want to get kind of close. Let's turn off perspective. And now let's apply our texture. That reminds me, what you got to do is in Photoshop, you're going to want to take each texture, make them small enough to work with in ZBrush, because I think they usually start off pretty heavy. So what you'll do is get to the texture. Then you just go edit. Or fire yeah, edits. Okay, you gotta unlock the layer first. Edit transform and flip vertical, and that'll save you some steps. 
because you'll have to um, flip it in ZBrush since the UVs are flipped for some reason. So now let's import our texture. I've already flipped mine. So let's do color. Let's uh, go to texture map, new texture. Click on the this. And as you see, it's imported correctly. Let's use the skin shader to see it more clearly. So now we're going to use Z wrap. Start Z wrap. All right, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we're just basically placing points where we think that it'll help make it accurate. You can always add like as many points as you want, but I find that you don't need too many to make this work. Let's do the cheeks. Not too much science to this, just kind of match where you think you see some landmarks. It's right between the eyes. Do with, that's where the eyebrows, bones kind of stop. Um, let's, see, let's see where bridge the noses, some of the ears. Probably won't come out good. That's fine. They never do. Let's do some cheekbones right there and there. So I think the hairline start stops there. Oh, right around there. All right. Do the top of the eyebrows. All right, let's see how this looks. Let's go. So now you go to wrapping and start wrapping. So it's going to try to match each point with each point that we place. It's kind of like magic. You can always use this plugin to like copy other um, geometry so you can just get retopology now. All right, it's finished. Let's see what we got. Uh, nothing perfect, but that's what we expected. Let's go back to select points. Actually, let's um, let's save these. Demo geo. Save this one. Demo 
that. Uh, what you should do though is subdivide your plane a couple more times. All right, that didn't work, but um, I probably should have done the outside of the ears too. But before you, um, oh, let me see if I can go back. All right, if I divide, start as you wrap. Let's load. Let's see if this works. Nope. Oh. Yeah, I'll just redo that again with a higher density. All right, this won't take too long. Oh yeah, you don't have to do it the way I do it. These are just like points I feel like would work. Sometimes you get away with less or even more. I meant um, get away with doing less and maybe more helps. All right, let's do the outside of the ears. It's like some tips. Yeah, right there. All the way. All right, let's try this again. Wrapping. Start wrapping. Sometimes I forget some steps since I don't really do this too often. Okay, now that's wrapped up. Let's uh, go to solo to show what this looks like. It looks, uh, it's all right. So what we'll do is export this mesh. So the mesh will have the UVs that we need. So what we're gonna do is go to all right. So now we're in marble set to bake our our textures onto the correct UV space. So let's import those models. 
file import. We can get rid of these. We don't need them. And there we go. And there you go. It doesn't matter if the image is on there right now, by the way. So you can press this loaf bread button to bake. Put the warp face in the high poly and the face demo in the low poly. Now we will go to configure. Let's throw in our material. Albedo is what we're stealing from the warp face onto the correct face with the UVs. Press done. Let's turn that off. Uh, let's go up to 4K since we can. Uh, let's call a demo. Uh, let's do PNG. Why not? Uh, let's uh, let's make it. Bake, bake. All right. So now you just press this magnifying glass, and that's what we got. Looks pretty good. Exactly what we wanted. So now we're gonna repeat the process, but with the other materials. So leave it. Take this one. Okay, let's make sure it's correct. Good. And we'll do the same thing. Press. Oh, we gotta rename it though. Let's call it um, this placement. Save and bake. Let's check it out. Perfect. So let's go back and make sure we chose the right one. Oh, there's also the raw beetle, which has the shadow still in there. But we'll make our own. And you, you can repeat the process for the utility map and the raw if you like. But for now, we'll just keep these two. See you in the next lesson.